Hello, Hunch Up Nation. Just like we don't breast out our birds and leave those legs in the field in the woods, we don't clean our walleyes and leave these delicious wings on the skinning table. This is how we're gonna do it. So walleye wings are a thing. Now these are straight out of Lake Erie, but you can see all the meat that's inside of these guys. Now these were just frozen, frozen in spring water in a Ziploc bag for over six months and they still are fantastic and look great. So this is right under, you know, the gill plate right here. So once you're cleaning, you know, if you start here and trim all the way around, we'll put an instructional video up on the website. The walleye wings, lots of meat. There's lots of ways you can do them, just like the collars on your salmon, your halibut, your bigger fish, your steelhead. These wings from right here make great hors d'oeuvres, snacks, barbecue, tailgate food. Um, you can marinate them, grill them, smoke them. There's a lot of different ways. But today, we're gonna mix up a Helltown beer batter and we're gonna fry them crispy and delicious. We're starting out with about three cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna load it up with some Hunt Chef Smoky Bayou. Some Hunt Chef straight out of the bay. And you can't have walleye without some Hunt Chef real damn deal. This should be just about enough flour and seasoning mixture to take most of this can of Helltown Pilsner. I like a Pilsner for a beer batter, especially Helltown. The flavor's there, it's got a little bitter backbone. Now with my beer batters, I always like a little bit of a sweet, bubbly backbone. You can use Sprite. This one here, I like ginger ale. We're gonna have a little bit of that sweet ginger bite and more carbonation. It's gonna make a delicious Helltown beer batter. One of the keys is mixing it till it's just combined, working out all those big clumps but you don't want to over mix it and mix out all the carbonation. You want to keep that in there to make that batter nice and light. That's looking right. And what we want to do is be able to dip that finger where it runs off, but keeps your finger coated. Perfect. One of the things to jazz this up, we've got our fresh veggies there, but we're also going to fry up in the Helltown beer batter some of these pickled ramp bulbs. You want to talk about a delicious treat. We got some fresh ginger we're gonna shave really thin to simmer in the sauce and really liven it up. For our dipping sauce, we're gonna do about half soy, half orange juice. We're gonna add in that fresh sliced ginger root, some light brown sugar, and then we're gonna hit it with the Hunt Chef Big Sexy Bee Strub. Mix it up. Bring it to a slow simmer. Walleye wings going in. Get them coated, drip off the excess. Right on into that oil. Mm-hmm. That's the thing of beauty right there. Time for the veggies. Here we go with the ramp. Taste test. <laughs> Top them off with some more wild flavor. Give them a shake. So one more easy, simple, and delicious way to make the most out of your harvest, these walleye wings. I'm telling you right now, 
<laughs> so good. Hope you liked this week's episode. For all this and more, check us out on Jeff.com. All the seasonings, all the flavor, all the hunts, all the merch. Eat what you kill, people. Stay tuned. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and HuntChef.com.